CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello. My name's Ashley. Teddy has been showing me his roly-poly. <laughs> and in just a few minutes, it's time for him to roly-poly all the way to bed. But first, we've got time for a bedtime story. Are you ready? It's called Max and the Won't Go to Bed Show. And it's by Mark Sparing and Sarah Warburton. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, roll up, roll up, roll up for the greatest show on earth. Tonight, for your entertainment and delight, we proudly present from all the way behind the curtain, the world's youngest magician. Please put your hands together for Max the Magnificent. Ray! Drum roll, please. Tonight. We'll see his world-famous and death-defying putting off bedtime for as long as possible show. For his first trick, Max the Magnificent will make one cup of milk and one whole cookie disappear before our very eyes. Very slowly. Abra cadabra. Now, we must ask the audience to remain calm for his second trick. Max will tame the most savage of beasts. The savage beast's name is Brian. Brian likes walks in the park, tickles behind the ears, and carrying around old slippers in his mouth. Sit, savage beast, sit! That's not sit. <laughs> Bitch! Savage beast, fetch! Well, yuck! That's not fetch. It's a big slurpy goodnight kiss. And that can only mean one thing. Bedtime. Max the Magnificent is led up the stairs of doom. Surely it can't be bedtime yet. Max isn't even slightly tired. Time for another trick. The great disappearing boy trick. Max, where are you? Is he behind the chair, ladies and gentlemen? No. Is he inside the wardrobe, boys and girls? No. Has he vanished in a puff of smoke? Kaboom! No. Here he is in the bathroom cleaning his teeth. <gasps> what a glittering extravaganza! What a dazzling spectacle! This certainly deserves a big round of applause. And now, be prepared to be shocked and amazed. You are about to witness the seldom seen floating pyjama trick. Max will cause his pyjamas to lift off the chair, float across the room and perhaps the most difficult part of all, attempt to put them on. <gasps> Audience, be warned, this trick can take up to half an hour to perform. Though luckily, not tonight. Ta-da! The show isn't over yet. There are still more thrills to be had. Max the Magnificent pulls a rabbit from under the bed. Ooh. Bravo! and a bear from out of the wardrobe. Hurrah! And his favourite mm. stripy raccoon from out of the toy box. Encore! Next, as Max the Magnificent crawls into bed, he will attempt the impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we strongly advise you never try this at home. Max asks for... Ten, yes, ten bedtime stories. <sighs> His mum says she'll read two. And now we must dim the lights and ask for hush. Let's tiptoe out and leave our little magician in peace. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, boys and girls. Max the Magnificent 
needs his sleep now. After all, who knows what tricks he'll pull tomorrow. <laughs> well, that story is called Max and the Won't Go To Bed Show. Whoa, oh, what a show Max put on. I hope you'll go to bed much more quickly and quietly than he did. Off you go now. Oh, get all tucked up and dream happy dreams. And I'll see you again soon for another bedtime story. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> Come on, Ted. Oh, let's get cosy. <laughs>